right guys here's my ingredients uh, I know chicken chicken noodle soup sounds like it's easy to make but that's why there's YouTube and they have hundreds of different recipes <laughs> but I'm just gonna go by my method here and if anybody else can suggest anything <clears throat> for the next batch so anyway we've got some chicken breast right here and we've got some celery stock a carrot a big carrot so I don't have to chop up a whole bunch of little ones some garlic an onion obviously some macaroni or noodles some chicken broth and I'm just going to use canned corn instead of the frozen corn and uh, canned peas instead of frozen peas and uh, <clears throat> then something to cream it up maybe I think I'll make the cream of chicken noodle this time a little bit of milk flour what have you seasoning salt pepper what ha yes what else whatever else and uh, I guess that's all that's going to go into it so if anybody else out there has a, a better recipe for chicken noodle soup um, please let me know but okay here we are we're going to get the frying pan ready to go put some butter in there now I don't want to show my eyes but I've not been crying believe me <laughs> it's the man that onion So what I'm going to fry up here first is <clears throat> the uh, onions, the carrots, the celery, then I'll put some garlic in. So let's get that started. Wow, hard to do this one-handed. Okay, but that's what we got to start on. And then we will get the rest of it ready. Okay, come back at you when we're ready to go here. Okay, guys, now that this is cooked down a bit, we'll put everything in the big pot, along with some broth and water and what have you, and get that part going, put the chicken in. Okay. Where's my big pot? There's what we're going to make the soup in. Transfer everything over to here. for things here. Now we'll just set this down here for now. <clears throat> now the chicken broth. Okay, we've got the carrots, the celery, the onions, the garlic is in there right now, the chicken broth, I'll put in a little water, make a big batch soup today so I can have it for a few days okay and when it gets going boiling a little bit more we'll pop our chicken in and we'll get ready for our peas and corn and they're canned so you don't need any cooking just to heat up we'll put those in a little bit later get 
get them ready. Once it gets a boiling and to a rolling boil, we'll put some macaroni in there. And then we'll make up a uh, creamy, we'll put some milk in and some flour and what have you and get that part going. I suppose I can get that ready in here. I don't have any cream, so I have to use milk. That's all I've got with me at the moment. Okay. Where do I have flour? Need a big spoon. Big spoon for testing purposes. <laughs> That might be good enough for the flour. And we'll put this in at the end too. Okay, we've got that going. Soup on high. The only thing I don't have in there is salt. A little bit of salt in. Pink sea salt. And some pepper there I can put a little bit more in if needed Now, because I have to take the chicken out later and chop it up, I'll put it in now so it can kind of cook to that point. And for any of you longtime followers, I, you'll know that I'm cooking on my granite countertop, Mr. Granite Man make some beautiful beautiful granite countertops let me just show you here this is it right here I've got a glass cutting board on top of it but right now so anyway we're cooking with it maybe I can get the camera just a little bit closer up here so you can see what's going on with it inside there all right so I've got the chicken in here doesn't take long for the chicken to <clears throat> to cook so 
will cook it, take it out, and uh, chop it up. And when it gets boiling here, we'll put in the uh, pasta. You know, I should actually just have a taste to see what... whether it's salty enough or what have you. Hmm. I think it needs a little more salt. I don't know, I think I need, I need to reduce my salt intake. That's probably why it doesn't seem salty enough to me. But, It's raining today. I don't know if you can hear that on the roof. That's why it's a good day to make chicken noodle soup. Right on. Okay, now that we've got a good boil going on, let's put some noodles in. Without getting them all over the floor. One cup, two cups. <laughs> there. Now I think I'm going to take the chicken out and see if it's ready. I can do some pulled chicken. Find it. There's one. And the other one. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, that's the chicken. Now, we have everything in here except the peas and the corn. Okay, so and then some sort of creamer thing going here. Oh, much better, much better. Now, as far as spices and stuff go, you guys will have to put in the comments what some good spices to put in here. I put salt and pepper in, but not much else. What is this? It's getting there. So I think I'm going to put the peas in and the corn.
whole can of peas. What the heck? Oh boy. That is thick soup. Let's pour the milk and flour in. It's probably going to get too thick. Let's see what happens. And it is, <laughs> it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, so. Mmm. Oh, I had a little bit of everything there. Little corn, little chicken, macaroni. This is done. This is done. <clears throat> Now what I'm going to do is just leave it sit here, try to let it cool off a little bit, and then in a couple hours I'm going to have a taste. Okay guys, let's have a look. Look at this. That is one thick soup. So I dished myself out a bowl. And I'm going to try this out. It's been sitting here for a while to get cooled down. Look at that. That is thick soup, my friend. Oh, yeah. Could still use some spice of some sort. Don't know what kind, though. Got enough salt. There's something missing. If anybody can tell me in the comments below what they put in for spices and stuff, next time I'll I'll add that in. Thanks for watching guys. Now it's off to enjoy my soup. <laughs>